nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Here we are At Cook, Minnesota At the McDonald's truck stop they even got a truck drive through right here to the left. You pick up the phone, tell them what you want, you go right here up to these steps right here, and you pick up your Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of trucks uh, parking in here, but uh, you got enough room there probably for about four trucks. Three, four trucks, and that's it, you know. Then here we go. You want to get out of here? You wasted enough time in here. So let's get some miles behind us. I actually slept in a little bit. This is where I saw the sign the other day. My buddy was asking me where I seen that sign. It says Tim Hortons Cafe uh, Shop by Forest. All right, all right. See, we got a Tim Hortons in here. In the area, at least. I don't know exactly whereabouts that is, but hey, somebody probably does. That's right. good yesterday and today but uh, I guess not every day is you know feeling a hundred percent you know I think I've been outside too much in the cold you know my body has uh, is not used to that you know I'm always sitting inside in the warm cab or or I'm in, inside the house and stuff like that so it takes a little while to get used to uh, the cold out there, you know. But that's the way it goes. We got a long way to go yet today. Well, I mean, I don't really have super long trip, and so I don't really have to push too hard today and tomorrow. But. Uh, we definitely got to get some miles in. According to the GPS, we got 939 miles to go. But when I looked on Google, it said 838 miles. So I don't know what the, which one is true, you know? What's going on with my fan? It doesn't feel like, well, my fan is blowing. I don't know why my windshield is doing that crappy. So maybe I need new windshield washer fluid, a uh, new windshield washer, uh, I can't even speak right. New windshield wipers, that's the word I'm looking for. I know somebody suggested that the other day already, but I mean these ones are not that old, you know, so I don't really understand why they make that squeaky noise, you know, but oh well. That's all right, I guess. So that's coming right along with me today. And let's have ourselves a fantastic day together. I am just about to come into Minneapolis area right now. We've been uh, cruising for about three and a half hours already. Yeah, just absolutely gorgeous sunshine out there today. It's not cold at all. It's only like minus one right now. At a Celsius, by the way. Just an absolutely gorgeous day to be out here on the road, especially considering it's being winter. Speed limit reduced to half. You know, I mean, the roads are fantastic, nice and dry. Nothing to worry about, really. I mean, 
was quite windy there this morning when we got going, but uh, that wind seems to have disappeared. That is very true. Last night we uh, hit 1400 subscribers. And it is all thanks to you guys for subscribing to my channel. And I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, following me on a daily basis, you know. Without you guys, it would not be possible. I probably wouldn't have that many views, you know. Or if none of you guys were watching my channel, nobody would <laughs> get any views, right? So we appreciate you guys and uh, we uh, are very happy that we have been able to uh, build a YouTube community the way we have. I looked uh, last night when I was stopped there, I looked on my Facebook, I had posted uh, when I had hit 300 subscribers and I looked it up and it was uh, last year, 2015, on uh, January 29th, I had only 300 subscribers and today we are at 1400 plus. is left lane so I guess we're going to try and get into the left lane but anyways uh, just wanted to say thank you very much we appreciate it like I said before it wouldn't be doing me any good if uh, none of you guys were subscribing to my channel I wouldn't get no views and I probably would have shut down my channel already but since you guys are following me and watching me on a daily basis, that encourages me to create a video for you guys every single day. Now there are times when I have left the day out here and there, but uh, normally I try to at least make a video every day. But uh, anyways, we are 635 miles from my delivery. And it's like 1 and uh, 1 15 in the afternoon. And it looks like we got a little bit of construction going on up here. Yeah, that's right. I kind of don't know how far I will go tonight yet. Like I told you guys yesterday that I am not, not feeling bad, but I have a little bit of a sore throat and stuff like that so don't know how we will feel later on today but first we gotta get through Minneapolis yeah here we go guys we have just entered Iowa that's right we got uh, 77 miles to go and then we'll be at the uh, truck stop where I'm going to be taking a pit stop. Well, I might even spend the night there. I don't know for sure yet, but that's where we got to stop and have a half an hour break. And also, uh, I got to fuel up the truck. I'm starting to get low on fuel. I really am. <laughs> I haven't fueled up since last week when I... Uh, Went on the short trip there with my wife when we fueled up in Clearwater, Minnesota. Went all the way home, went all the way to Dryden, all the way down here already. We're back in Iowa already and I still haven't fueled up yet, you know. So she's starting to get low. That's right. And it is a little bit windy out here too, so we kind of got to take it easy with our fuel. And our fingers crossed hopefully we can make it that's right but anyways we're going to continue on and see where we will end, actually end up for the night it is starting to get darker and darker as we speak 
We only got 17 more miles to go. And then we'll be at that truck stop that we desperately need. My fuel gauge is all the way down there on that red already. So she is starting to get really low. We're definitely gonna have to fuel up over here. That's a fact. Oh yeah. But at least the weather has been holding up good. We've just been giving her. Actually, matter of fact, I haven't even stopped at all yet today. Which I probably should have, but I didn't. Didn't have no need to stop until yet. Until now yet. Oh, that cattle hauler is hauling ass today. Well, they usually are, but... <laughs> I'm surprised I still see snow up here. I thought I wasn't going to see any snow up here, but apparently we do. Apparently we do. Yeah, so let's get down over there to that truck stop and let's fuel this baby up. I need some go go juice. That's right. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Going to take this exit up here. And we're going to go to the truck stop and get some go go juice. That's right. We are going to get some go go juice. If I just continue on going east, I would come into Clinton, Iowa, where Chuck and Angie live. I met up with them there, uh, I guess, about a month ago now. And it was nice meeting up with them. So, but we uh, gotta go here and then uh, fuel up. I'm sort of thinking I'm just gonna stay here for tonight. This load is not much in a rush, so as long as I deliver there tomorrow and I only got like 445 miles, something like that to go. 440 miles, I'll know here in a minute. But. Once I stop here, my GPS is going to recalculate for my uh, final destination, so then I'll know exactly how far it will be, but uh, yeah, so I got all day tomorrow to deliver the load, so I am just going to go call it a day, get a good night's sleep, start early tomorrow, change this routine of, uh, I guess, uh, getting up late approaching destination or in a get quarter going mile late on you know right side. I don't really like that I don't know what this guy is trying to do oh I guess he's trying to go into this parking lot up here by the McDonald's that's what he's trying to do as long as he doesn't get himself stuck well that would be something now yeah, looks like these oversizes are trying to get in there looks like they got another truck in there with an oversize as well we're gonna go to this next one over here and we're gonna go fuel up. Approaching destination. Diesel 203. That's right pretty side. cheap. Wow, that is cheap. Very cheap. Good thing I waited to get fuel over here, didn't I? I think so. So here we are. You have next stop. At your destination. On the right side. Road Ranger number 144. That's right. I don't know what this four-wheeler is doing in here. He should never be in here. He belongs over there. Yeah, 430 miles. That's what I got to do. Anyways, here we are. I guess we're just going to have to wait in line to fuel up. I guess that's all it's going to be. Well, that's going to leave me with a little bit of time to go in here and... Uh, get some uh, stuff that I want to throw in, uh, in the tanks for the field so I guess we'll we'll be right back y'all well guys we are finished for today we just had a shower As you can probably tell I'm nice and clean now you can't really smell me but hey we are clean now we just finished putting another video together and I figured well I'll finish off today's vlog and then uh, as soon as this one is done rendering I'll probably throw this one in there and put it together for you guys 
and then we'll have ourselves uh, a nice show we'll upload it to YouTube get it all ready to go for you guys that's right but we are in uh, well they call it Elk Run Heights Iowa which is part of I guess Waterloo Iowa and we got about 431 miles to go or something like that for tomorrow but uh, yeah it should be no problem we'll probably get out of here a little earlier and then uh, be there a little after lunch or something like that maybe two three o'clock in the afternoon or something like that and then uh, deliver the load and then see what we get from there right that's all we can do so with that being said I hope you enjoyed today's vlog be sure to rate it up hey if you're not subscribed to our channel we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button and uh, share the video so with that being said we'll be back tomorrow stick around behind me that day is gonna come